Hello and welcome to this episode of Historica Africa. In this video, we will be exploring the Mangbetu tribe, an ethnic group from the Democratic Republic of Congo. The Mangbetu people have a rich cultural heritage, known for their artistic traditions, unique hairstyle, and their hunting and gathering practices. Join us as we delve into their history, culture, and way of life. The Mangbetu tribe is believed to have originated from the Nile Valley in Sudan. They migrated southwards and settled in the northeastern part of the Democratic Republic of Congo. The Mangbetu people are known for their sophisticated social hierarchy with a strong monarchy system that governed their society. They were skilled warriors and had a reputation for being fearless and highly organized in battle. Lipombo, the costume of skull elongation, which was a status symbol among the Mangbetu ruling classes at the beginning of the century and was later emulated by neighboring groups, evolved into a common idea of beauty among the people of the northeastern Congo. The Mangbetu had a distinctive look and this was partly due to their elongated heads. At birth, the head of babies were tightly wrapped with cloth in order to give their heads the streamlined look. The practice began dying out in the 1950s with the arrival of more Europeans and westernization. Because of this distinct look, it is easy to recognize Mangbetu figures in African art. Cranial deformation may have played a key role in Egyptian Mayan and Vainatu societies. Queen Nafetiti is often depicted with what may be an elongated skull as his king Tutankhamen. The Mangbetu creator god is known as Kilima or Noru. Ara is a god associated with water and was known to take the form of an animal that was to be feared. They also believed that human souls could be reborn as animals. The Mangbetu royalty demanded that their ancestors be venerated. Bad spirits demanded offerings by punishing those who ignored them with sickness and misfortune. This spirit could be directed at an individual by witches. The job of the diviner among the Mangbetu often involved uncovering and correcting the work of witches. The religion of Mangbetu is reflected in their material culture. The material wealth of great rulers included many items that were reserved for their exclusive use and that symbolized their links with divine authority. For example, the skin, tails, teeth and claws of leopards were sacred and were reserved for the use of the king alone. The Nekere and Bangwa were used exclusively by the king to protect his people or goods or to bring good luck. The king was also believed to have the ability to control rain, which he used not to help with the crops but to permit outdoor gatherings and to serve as a weapon in war. Mangbetu or Nemangbetu is one of the most populous of the Central Sudanic languages. It is spoken by the Mangbetu people of the northeastern Congo. It or its speaker are also known as Amangbetu, Kingbetu, or Mabeto. The most populous dialect and the one most widely understood is called Midje. Others are Aberu, Makere, Malele, Poipoi. The most divergent is Lombi. Ethnologue treat it as a distinct language. About half of the population speak Bangala, a trade language similar to Lingala, and in southern areas, some speak Swahili. One of the ways the Mangbetu people are preserving their culture is through education. They have established schools that teach traditional Mangbetu culture and language. The Mangbetu people are also finding ways to promote their culture through music and art, and their work is gaining recognition both in Congo and around the world. The Mangbetu people are a unique and fascinating community with a rich cultural heritage. Despite the challenges they face, the Mangbetu people are finding ways to preserve their way of life and promote their culture. We hope that this video has given you a glimpse into the lives of the Mangbetu people and inspired you to learn more about their remarkable community. Thank you for watching. Kindly subscribe and share. Until next time, cheers and have a good one.